because you need to remember like when you have a business like if people are rude to you you have to kill them with kindness like you have because there's other people looking on looking at you and seeing how you respond to negative hey guys it's me Raquel and I just wanted to do a quick video today because it is Monday and I need to tell you guys about my business so over the weekend, I decided to put a mass Facebook post out advertising my business, letting people know what I do, who I am, and I posted it on about 22 different like um, classified pages for like our local area. And tell me why I did not proofread. And I had like went back in to change something and the sentence no longer flow, flew, it no longer flowed properly. And I did not like double check it. And so I posted it to all 22 pages. And so some guy had like caught it and he had like played me. He was like, uh, sucks you didn't proofread before you posted this on a whole bunch of pages and he like did this meme of like somebody like shaking their head at me or something crazy it was crazy but I do not like to like I always try to make sure like my spelling my grammar all of that is correct and it is like a pet peeve of mine that I did that and like somebody corrected me and I'm like oh my gosh it's so embarrassing and so then I was like I'm like getting like upset at myself. I'm like, people aren't gonna take me seriously now. They're gonna think I'm a joke. They're gonna like, you know, they're gonna think I'm dumb, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like freaking out. I had my sister go to all the pages and fix it for me. And um, it was really cool because some people were standing up for me and they were like, really, man? Like, why you gotta say that to her? It was really, really embarrassing. But it was nice that the people who were, um, you know, like standing up for me and stuff. So that was really cool. Um, and then I had somebody else come on my page and um, like question, have questions about my prices. And so I was telling them the prices and then they were like, well, that's kind of expensive. And then I had let them know that, um, that I do have a current deal out that would save you, you know, whatever amount of money blah 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 just you know trying to interact and then she was like well walking a dog isn't exactly a skilled labor and I was like uh, okay what <laughs> no you're absolutely right it is not a skilled labor um but it's a it's a service that some people don't have time for they're not able to do and so when you are unable to or you know you don't have the time to you pay for that service. It's not, no one's saying that it's a skilled service or anything. But, um, yeah, you know, like, at first I was, like, really, like, ugh, panicky about my mistake. And then when the lady kind of, like, was telling me that my, that my prices are high and it's, I'm not a skilled laborer. Like, I was like, you know, am I, are my prices too high? Um, should I do something different? But you know what? Like, no, that's exactly what I should not do my prices are very um, competitive to the local market so um, I know that that's not it it's you know like not everybody is your customer she's not my customer and my customer will recognize the value in my price and so really those that's what the message is about that's what I wanted to tell you guys is um, you know we all make mistakes we're not perfect. You may do a, you may make a huge mistake, spell something wrong, have a crazy sentence. It's okay. We make mistakes and it doesn't represent you as, it doesn't represent your business as a fell just because you made a mistake. You know, fix your mistake, apologize. I told the guy, I was like, you know, uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. Um, stay positive regardless because if somebody's being rude to you other people are looking at you to see how you react to that and you have to be positive about it and just like when the guy said something to me I said um 
you know, it was pretty embarrassing. I definitely should have double checked that before I posted it. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. And, you know, it's, I'm telling him, yeah, I'm human. It's a mistake. Thanks, but thank you. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to be embarrassed. I shouldn't have been embarrassed, but now I know, like, hey, it's okay. Life goes on. It's, I still have a good business. I'm still doing what I need to do, and we'll go from there. People are going to sometimes have negative stuff to say about the things that you're doing. They're going to try to downplay it. They're going to try to make you feel like whatever you're doing is not important. Um, but just stay true to what you're doing. Believe in your business. Believe in yourself regardless. And um, things will work out. Um, I did want to let you guys know that I am updating my services. I'm, up, I'm adding um, pet waste removal to my business. And, you know, telling some people about that, they were like, oh, I wouldn't want to do that, blah, blah, blah. Look, I am trying to offer pet services. And I think that there's a lot of people who don't want to do that. And if you don't want to do it, it is not that difficult. I can wear gloves. I will have a bag. I will have a rake. I will have a little scooper. And I will get the job done. Um, so... You know, don't be embarrassed. Like, if there's something you want to do, like, don't be embarrassed if you think, like, oh, I don't want to do that because it's embarrassing. People might judge me. I'm working for myself. Nobody else is paying these bills. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a job. If that's what you want to do, do it. Um, anyways, I'm closing this out. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening to Morant. Um, if you guys have any questions on starting a business, please feel free to ask me, write any comments. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great night.